Hello and welcome back for my videos. In this video I want to speak about Sonal UNES DSM7 and how you can setting up the general security on your NAS. The last video we speak about the user and upping the security for the user in, in general, but this time we will take it a step uh, up to add security on your own NAS system so it's getting more secure. Uh, I don't know why it's not in this way out of the box and you need to take off the security but my one of my thinkings of that question would be then the end user will have more troubles to to do stuff because you need to know a little bit about that and you need need to know why it's happening and i will try to explain it step by step in this video and i really hope you you stay here from the old video so let's Let's go ahead and don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the thing in the right corner below in the video. Thank you so much and let's go. So the first thing we're going to do is going for the control panel and then on the login here, uh, I need to find here, login portal. And then we need to change the different port here because this is the default port. So the first uh, a, a hack I want to, to go after will be the default ports on, on your system. So. What what I'm uh, I want to do now is just say uh, eight four three three, and then I will automatically redirect the HTTP connection to the HTTPS. I know this will be redirect on the custom port. It doesn't matter, but it's taking uh, let's say five percent of the of the load. That's fine. We don't care because yeah really doesn't matter because now we will add a security more so just click save now it's restarting the server and i can go on up here here and i can just see here now i'm logged in again on a different port number going back to the control panel and going for security and the account we want to go down for the account protection click on it and it will falling out we will enable the account protection. So if you log in too many times, uh, let's say you want to log in five times in one minute, then we will cancel uh, the account in uh, 30 minutes. That's meaning you're getting cool down for, for half an hour if you if you try to that. That will protect you against the blue force. And the trusted clients is a little bit more, so that's fine. So let's click on apply. When you're going for the protection, that's mean if you get blocked, enable auto block. That's meaning if the IP addresses, if you log in ten times in five minutes and it's a fail, then you'll be blocked because you should not have forgetting your password to to do this. So I will enable restriction to just say after seven days you will be uh, unblocked again. It depends on your security level. I will recommend this. So if you use the the nest for the family members and something like that, then it will go in for yeah for that. All we need to just disable this one. Basically, I think it's better to the person call you and say, "Ah, I got the problem. I get blocked," um, rather than you have some issues with the security. Then we have the DDoS attack. You will uh, enable that. Enable DDoS protection. That's meaning uh, if it's trying to make you some, yeah, attacks or something like that, then it will be blocked. It's a uh, DDoS is a normal. Basically, you're sending. Uh, if I have 100 megabit of internet and you have 1000, then you can kill my internet, and that the plane with the DDoS. It's very like script kidding and something like that. It's not a hack. It's just a way. Like if you're uh, going on a on the yeah a highway and you have uh, five uh, five cars on the side then you can uh, drive uh, faster than the five drives uh, the five cars sorry but if one of the cars is getting slower and you have the the hole you can yeah, just drive around that i think that's the easiest way to to explain that so ddos is not rocket science it's pretty easy but we have uh, tools to to control that to just block it if if you do that and you can do it in, in different ways just click and apply here so 
The last thing is uh, going for the advanced. We need to enable HTTP compromission and we need to modern compatibility. That's meaning if you're going into the company where you have uh, very old browsers, then this will not work. But your SSL security is much higher. I would recommend you to yeah, take down the outdated browsers, basically just for the security reasons, but then you can go in for the higher browser standard. I'm using Chrome and Brave and, and, and Firefox and Edge and all the new browsers is, is supporting this one. But if you're having a, the older browser, you, you probably only can run on immediately competitive. And I, I really understand why this one is, is enabled like the default, but I'm not uh, understand why Synology doesn't have some like a security check on your NAS. I really hope Synology come with that tool because then it will help people a lot and you don't need to understand so much about security uh, before they're enabling that. And the, the, the last one we need to enable is Spark and, and Meltdown. That's the, is this, if I'm, if I remember right, you can put it in a comment if I'm wrong or something like that. That's this, uh, it's like a, a spyware, malware. It's placed on the CPU chip and it's, it's in the Intel chip. And I think maybe it's hitting older uh, AMD's chips too. It's uh, something like with the X, 46 architecture so it's a good question about it's uh, is hitting on unlike in the, in the Apple's new uh, M1 chip I really don't know but I know this is the because my my server here is running on Intel I really know this is, is an issue on my system so I will enable that and I will accept my performance issues will be be a little bad here but my security will be better so that's that's okay I, I can live with that and when, when I do this, it will take an effect and it will restart, uh, restart the DSM. So just click yes. And it's asking by me to, I'm sure I'm restart and I'll say yes. It's just waiting for the restart and then we are ready to, to log in after if it's have signed us out. Now when we are back online, you need to log in again. And uh, then I logged in. And I need my password here. And yes, you probably think it's a security risk, and I show you this one, but it's, it isn't. This is a just a test box, so it will never go on the internet, so that's fine for me. So, yeah, you're welcome. And now we are locked in, and everything is back in normal, so yeah, everything is running. You can see the SSL up here and invalid and yeah, da di da di da. Everything is running as we expect, and we are happy. Thank you so much for joining this video, and I really hope you understand this one, and you can see the points for security reasons. And uh, don't forget to just uh, follow me here on, on on YouTube. Just click on the subscribe button in the in the bottom of the video, on the thing, and then you will subscribe for my videos. And of course, don't uh, don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions and uh, hit the like button and share. Thank you so much and hope to see you next time. Bye.